Hello there. Thank you for choosing the Visual Products Configurator plugin. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up conditional rules. The conditional rules feature makes it possible for you to limit your customers to access specific options or actions based on your preselected choices within the Visual Products Configurator. To dive into that, I'm just going to navigate to the product builder here and go directly to configurations. Now, it's very, very crucial to understand that you must have configurations with different components already before you can go ahead and put this feature to use. So these are lists of the several configurations that are available on my test site. So what you want to do is come here and click on manage conditional rules. It isn't compulsory, but if you have the need to put up this feature for your customers, then here's what you want to do. Just click on that. Right there it is. As you can see, there are no conditional rules or logic for the configuration that I have selected. So in that case, I'm just gonna tick this button here so that all of these features open up. So I'm gonna explain these features one by one so you can have a full understanding of what everything means. So action starting here. The action helps you set what it is to be triggered once the rule you set is met. As you can see, the available action types here are show, hide, and select. So it means whatever conditions you set, you can either show something, or hide something, or select something when the conditions are met. The scope here, on the other hand, acknowledges what domain the rule works in. The rule could work within an option, it could work within a component, it could work for a group or component, and it could work for all groups. The model, the uh, apply on here, a value value, uh, entirely depends on the scope you have selected. And this feature allows you to choose what exactly the action will be applied on. So in this case, if I have selected components, for instance, there are two components for the configuration that we have selected. So you can actually choose one of these two components here. If you switch to uh, option, you can choose a list of options here and just select what you want. And for the options, this field here, Here's where the condition to trigger the action is set. So if I select uh, uh, this um, option here, I could condition that based on all of this. So I could say select, for instance, select option, select this option. If that option is deselected. And that brings me to talk about the status part of this. This is where this part actually acknowledges the state that this option here has to be in to trigger this action. And the reverse rule over here just allows you to trigger the inverse of the rule. So just in case you want the opposite of this whole thing to be triggered, you just have to take this button over here. Uh, lastly, the conditional conditions relationship here just helps you specify the interaction between the options and statuses you have set to either work in unison or to work um, mutually exclusively. So just in case you have several rules here, that's where this and or or comes in. Okay. Thank you and in another tutorial we'll go through examples. 
Sí.